Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and I'm so excited to be starting off another week of our animal drawing. So thank you guys so much for showing up and the animal we're drawing today is one that I've wanted to draw for a long time. It's a really fun one to draw and so many of you guys requested this one. So today is gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so let me give you a few hints on the animal we're gonna be drawing today. This animal can jump really, really high. They live in burrows underground and they kind of make a crazy screaming noise. Do you know what it is? Okay, today we're drawing a fox. But before we get started, let's make sure we have everything that we need. Okay, make sure you have your paper out. You need a sharpened pencil. I always have an eraser handy because I want to get rid of the under sketch because on top of it, once we're comfortable with the sketch that we did, we're going to use a marker or a pen, something really dark for an outline that's really hard to erase. So we're going to erase all that under sketch. And then after that, at the very end, we're gonna do some coloring, which is my favorite part. So you don't have to have markers, that's what I'm using right now. You can have paints, colored pencils, crayons, whatever you wanna use. So let's start sketching our fox. Now I'm gonna have my fox sitting right here with its head up here, its body, and then I want its tail down here. And they have that big fluffy tail for a lot of reasons, but the reasons why it's really fluffy is because it can keep them warm. They can wrap themselves up in it. So we'll kind of have this tail wrapping our fox a little bit to warm them up. Okay, so let's start with the head. And I'm gonna move it a little bit to the left because that's where it's gonna be on my page and you'll see the rest of the body kind of right over here. So let's do the head off to the left just a little bit. We're gonna do like a little oval shape, a little sideways oval shape. There we are. So we'll do that, and then it has pointier ears. So, I mean, right now, if you want to just draw them as little triangles, that would work on the top of their head. Kind of like when we draw cats. A lot of times you draw them with little triangles, and we can soften those up. But I kind of want to see, maybe I want to do those a little bit higher too. I just want to see where they're going to be and where the top of my picture is going to be. Let's do the rest of the body. Now, I'm just going to do a shape like this to kind of show where their fur is. I'm gonna do like a little, a little oval again, but not finish it. I could draw through if it makes it easier for you, but I'm just gonna kind of draw it right here underneath it. That's the fur on their chest. They got a little bunch of tufts of fur on their chest. Okay, what else? Now, maybe not from right here in the corner. Let's move it down a little bit because they have a little bit of a neck. Let's do this shape right here, kind of like a backwards sh C shape. Let's see, like that. There we go. This is gonna be the main part of the body, that arc right there. All right, it's not really looking like a fox yet. It's kind of looking more like a cat, which is interesting because foxes are part of the dog family, but they have a lot of similarities with cats, which is kind of fun. And we'll talk about those as we go along here, but it's pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and do a line. I'm gonna do a line right here for their front paws, their front little legs right here. And then I'm gonna do, let's see, let's do another one right over here. I'm gonna kinda of angle them in. I, I like that they'll be angled in a little bit. You can do the same thing with this one. Angle them in a little bit, and we'll make this probably wider and whatnot, but yeah, angle those in. And then we're gonna draw the other part of those legs to kinda of finish off the, the leg, like that. We'll do this one. There we go, we got, the, we got the two front legs. And then we're gonna do this shape right here. Just do the back haunches, so their back leg, which is a lot bigger. We do this on a lot of our animals. You'll notice, you'll notice when we draw a lot of the animals that you're gonna see a lot of the, the same types of body parts and we're gonna be drawing a lot of the similar shapes. Because they do have a lot of, they, a lot of these animals have a lot in common or the same type of thing. Especially when we're drawing like dogs and cats, they kind of have the same hind legs. All right, so now let's add that big bushy tail in here. There we go. We're gonna kind of do like a little wavy pattern and overlap this just a little bit. And you can make this tail as big and bushy as you'd like. If it's a bushier one, it probably means that it lives in a colder environment, a colder area. So maybe you have like an Arctic fox. You ever seen an Arctic fox? They're white and they look super, super cool but they can live in the most, the most extreme cold temperatures on the planet. They can live on there because they have such thick fur. 
thick coat of fur and a big tail that they can snuggle up in. <laughs> it's like a big blanket. Okay, so I think we can start adding some more details now. So that's why we do this sketch, because look, we now figured out how to fit it right in our page how we wanted it. That's called composing our artwork. And then now we're going to do a little bit of refining, which is cleaning up what we did and making it look more like what we want to draw. So this head, for example, let me draw the nose first maybe, and then we can deal with the head. <laughs> So they have a little, let's draw a little oval there for their nose. They got cute little button noses. Their, their faces are a little bit, um, what do you call that? They just have smaller little faces, smaller features on their face. Not like most dogs where they have like the big nose and the big snout. Uh, foxes are a little bit more, like a little bit skinnier in their faces. So we'll draw just a little nose. Let's draw this shape right here kind of match up with the middle like we do with a lot of these animals like that there we go this this is the part that looks like a dog huh this front snout and then we're gonna do a little chin under here a little chin okay let's do a let's do a line kind of going inward a little bit like you're about to go make a triangle but that don't you don't need to make a full triangle Go up, maybe draw a couple little lines right there. Because we're going to draw their eyeballs a little bit lower down here. Let's do that. Let's draw their eyes a little bit lower down here. There we go. Two little circles for their eyes. Is that too high up? Mm, that's a little bit high. A little bit high. So I can erase that. The best part about sketching is you can go back and fix things. Perfect, okay, so there's the eye, and then maybe we'll make him looking at us, staring us down here. There we go, we'll draw the big pupils to make it look friendly. But the real important part is, oh, this little line right here. Now we can do this with color, but I would just do these little lines right here because they have very distinct markings on their body. So the one I'm gonna be drawing right now is one of the most common foxes that we can think of, which is a red fox because of their reddish orange fur. <laughs> that makes sense, right? Cool, and then I'm gonna do these little things on there over the eyes. Maybe I can erase that. And these are, the, these are probably the foxes you're most familiar with. From right here at the bottom of the ear, let's go draw little lines out like this. Like that. And then we're gonna do just like a little, little tufts of fur going underneath, going up to that. See that? So it's almost like it's becoming like a diamond shape. And then when we get up here to the top, we can move there. We can move that ear up a little bit. And if you want to curve it, I might curve it a little bit on one side and then keep it flat over here. And I'm actually going to have it overlap the head a little bit because their ears are a little bit further up on their head. Then I'll add kind of the tufts of hair. And then we'll go right up above it and we'll do a straight line. There we go. And again, we're gonna take that ear, bring it in a little bit. It's gonna come on the front of the head a little bit. I'm gonna do a straight line out right here. And then I'm gonna kind of curve it down here. Maybe a little bit bigger. There we go. I'm gonna draw a line right here. I'm gonna probably do this with colors, but if I draw lines right there, I like to probably make the tips of these black or something. Right now, I'm pretty happy with how this is. Now, you don't have to put the furry little bit right here. You can just have it kind of go up on the sides if you like. That's totally fine. Yeah, I like that look. And they do have whiskers if you want to add whiskers on there. And like I said, so I was saying earlier, they're kind of like cats, right? But they're they're dogs, but they they have whiskers, like big whiskers. They also have whiskers on their legs, which is really cool. And that actually helps them go around in the tall grass and they can kind of feel for things because they like to eat rodents a lot of times like rodents like mice and rats and things like that so they're omnivores because they don't just eat those things they can eat berries fruit they eat a lot of bugs sometimes it just depends on where the foxes live there's foxes all over the world okay so we're gonna now do let's do this shape i'm gonna have it kind of come out a little bit more so it looks like a little bit of a tuft of hair a little poofy and then i'm gonna do this little shape like this kind of like we do our our little wave shapes there we go. 
See that? So now we can just show that it's big tufts of hair underneath its chest. And then we're gonna do a little leg right there. I'm gonna clean that up just a little bit. There we go. And maybe that's a little too far out. Maybe I need to bring in their body a little bit because I don't know how, they're not really big, burly animals. They're kind of thinner animals. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do probably erase this and clean up just a little bit right here. Maybe make that a little bit higher. Yeah, I like how that looks. It was just a little bit too wide. And you can move that tail in too if you need to. But so far, I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. It's starting to look like a fox. You can do a little zigzag pattern here because on the red foxes at least, they'll have a little white right here and the rest of it will be that reddish orange color. All right, well, I'm happy with how this is looking. So if you need to do any cleanup work, go ahead and do that right now before you go to this part, which is our Sharpie, our outline, and we can't erase that. So if there's lines on here that you think are gonna confuse you that we wanna take out, then go ahead and erase those so they're not in your way. Like if this line, or maybe that extra part of the tail, little details in there, we'll just kind of fix that up as we go. All right, so let's start our outlining. Let's do these ears. They got those really big ears. Now, some of them have really big ears. I think it's called the bat-eared fox. Have your parents look that up with you. I think they live in the desert. And they have really, really big ears. And they can hear really well with them. The foxes do hear really well because they're, they're actually, they hear really well and they see really well because they're really good hunters. They're really quick. Now, most of the time, foxes are nocturnal, most of the time. That means that they hunt at, at nighttime and sleep during the day. But that's not true of all foxes. And some foxes even, if it's easier to find food during the day, they'll do that instead. They'll adapt to make sure that they can have food, which is really important. They do lots of really cool things to make sure that they have food. They actually hide their food, kind of like squirrels. They have little spots where they have their their food hidden okay i'm trying to think do i want to do the yeah we'll do it there we go i was trying to think if i just wanted to do the little hairy pattern there for the fur underneath them yeah i wanted to do it you don't have to you can just draw a straight line if you want okay let's draw the eyes first maybe yeah i'll draw the eyes first Ooh, circles you are not so fun to draw. I'm going to start small and just add more ink. Make it bigger and bigger. Because it's a lot easier to do it that way than to make it too big and not be able to, to make it any smaller. <laughs> Get rid of the ink. Oh, that was a much better circle. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they, they do have really good eyesight. They can kind of just go sit out there and watch for little tiny mice to go running off and then go chase them down because they are super, super quick. And then I'm going to draw little lines right here. You'll notice that those little red foxes, they have little marks right above their eyes. And then I'm going to do just a straight kind of shot down here. And another one right down here. And then connect it up. Try to narrow out that nose a little bit. I'm gonna draw a little, little nose right there. Should have said narrowed out the mouth area. That's more accurate. And then I'm gonna draw little lines right here. Oh, I'm liking that. And a little mouth. So maybe I'm gonna do, I might just draw my, my dark black line right now. Because why not, I'm already here. If you didn't wanna do that, you don't have to do it. And I'm gonna do the little squigglies there to show that it's got kind of fur in its ears. Cute furry ears. There we go. They're cute, but they make a really creepy scream noise when they try to talk or communicate sometimes they'll do a really loud screeching scream it's kind of kind of creepy 
they communicate lots of other ways. Like they can communicate with their tail. They can, they can say lots of other, they have lots of other ways of communicating, but that one, that one screech is pretty common. It's like their most common noise. I'm trying to think of a name for mine. Well, you know what? I actually, I'm, I actually think I've, I've got a name. So girl foxes are called vixens and guy foxes are called tods. Isn't that interesting? So I think I'm just going to have this one be the mama fox and she is going to be called vixen <laughs> or Vicky. I don't know. <laughs> vixen. I like vixen. It's not very original, but it's such a cool name. All right, let's get those slender legs in there. Let's do the body here. Now we kind of hid the feet, which sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I do that because it just makes things easier because you don't have to show the feet. But also a lot of times when they were curled up in their tail, it's pretty cute. So I liked how this looked. And, uh, but one thing I can tell you about their feet while I'm drawing here is they are the only kind of dog that can retract their claws just like cats. That means their claws can be out and then when they don't want them out, they can suck them back in there. They can have them back in their paws and it doesn't look like they have any claws. No other dog can do that. <laughs> That's just a cat thing. But they can, which is cool. They have a lot of similarities between cats and dogs, which is pretty interesting. Alrighty, so let's do this big tail. I'm loving this. I'm loving drawing fox tails. Ooh. Oh, I kind of went over a little bit. Okay, we should probably stop and try to do this all in one shot. Uh, bring it up. There we go. Let's do the big zigzag for the tail. There we go. All right, so my fox, I think, is ready to be colored in right after I guess I need to get rid of all of the sketching underneath. So hopefully yours is turning out great. And if you need a little bit more time, pause it and catch up. Um, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to keep erasing all of this off of here and then I'm going to start coloring. So if you want to start coloring ahead of me, go ahead. If you want to just see how I color it, then uh, you can follow along. So let's, uh, I'm going to do that right now and then we'll catch up right after. We are finished. Vixen is looking really good. Oh wait, you know what? I wanna do a little extra here to make sure that it looks extra furry. We always do this. I wanna add a few little lines on here just to make her look even furrier than she is. So I might just do, I don't know, like a few little little lines like that to show on her head that she's she's got fur. Now you can give her whiskers. Like I said, they have whiskers. Maybe um, just a few more little Little lines right there, a few on the the back leg, maybe some bigger ones down here on the tail. You can kind of put them wherever you want. You don't need to put over the whole body because we already know. You kind of get the idea. But I really like how she turned out. How did yours turn out? That's awesome. Well, I want to see yours, so make sure that you share it on uh, Instagram at Brave Kids Art Club. You can just tag us there, or you can use the hashtag Brave Kids Art Club. Um, or your parents can also, which a lot of your parents have been doing, is just sending us an email with photos of your work. So I've loved seeing all your work. So thank you so much for sending those in. And uh, because I'm proud of what I made right now, what do I need to do? That's right. I need to sign my name. There we go. That's official. It's finished. I put my name on it. That means I'm done working on it. So thank you guys for sticking around and drawing with me today. It's always the highlight of my day. We do this Monday through Friday. So please subscribe. If you enjoyed drawing your fox today, give this video a like and uh, always remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. Alrighty, we'll see you guys next time.